what's up guys we're here welcome back to the channel so today we gotta do it again man we are what a week and some change maybe two weeks into the brand new season and of course you know what we gotta do we gotta break down the tier list up to date we did one before the season started and we kind of had some fun with that one talking about a lot of the changes that came but now we got so much information for what's happening what's upcoming etc and so many patch notes have been released so we have to rank all of these classes now and yeah it's gonna get ugly so let's get right into it okay i already made my little tier list maker you already know how we do it guys we're over here at the tier list maker and i put it all together so before we get into this because i know how crazy you guys get in the comments i want this to be a reminder that this is all my opinion based on the information that we know not only the information that we know, the patch notes that have been released in the in the clears, right? Because I made some build guides for this season, and it's just crazy to me how basically the goalpost just continues to get moved, and people are just not satisf satisfied with a class or a build unless it does X, Y, Z. So uh, the new theme it seems to be is two things. Can the build clear T8s in the Infernal Horde? And can the build clear or kill a Uber boss in less than two seconds? Because apparently killing it in like 20 seconds is not good enough. So it's just astonishing that the goalpost continues to get moved. But I digress. So let's get into this tier list because I'm sure you guys are surprised, but not surprised by some of the uh, changes and where these things are going to go. So with that said, we have our five classes here. And then I have a lot of the build icons uh, because we're going to go ahead and break down the class and just the top builds that are performing for that class this season. We're doing a little spin on it because I know people get so hyped up. So starting from the bottom now, we're here. Of course, you guys already know, and that is the Barbarian. The Barbarian is by far the worst class this season. And thank you to the Diablo 4 gods finally it has been knocked off of its pedestal we have had barbarian for over a year and you know frankly it was just too much okay but it's been knocked down a peg and it is by far one of the worst classes this season now with that said there's still some really good builds okay so it suffered a lot of key passive nerfs it suffered a lot of skill nerfs but it also got some really good buffs so um, let's talk about a few of the builds that are actually really good for Barbarian. So the best build for a Barbarian right now is probably the Bleed build. I know this is the Rend icon. I, I couldn't find the uh, the uh, the Bleed icon or the other one for it. So this is just going to represent the Bleed build. But yeah, Bleed is still probably by far the best build for Barbarian. It's still hitting for billions of damage, tens of billions of damage, which is just fine. It's still clearing very, very well. But like the best build is probably like in a B tier or maybe an A tier for Barbarian. So Bleed is still very, very good. Very, very fun. It still rocks the house. It's very easy to play. Same thing with like Bash, Bleed or Bash. Both of those are like pretty similar. So those builds are very, very good. Next up is... I'm using the double swing here. This is just to represent the twister build. So basically whirlwind twister um, or double swing twister is still very, very good. It still farms very, very well. You can still speed clear a lot of stuff. The build is very, very good. It did actually get its fix not only in a Paragon um, board slot, but a glyph or excuse me, a glyph slot. So that got fixed. So the build is actually in a very good spot if you like this spin to win. So this is still very, very good. I think it's like a C tier though. Um, but the build is still very, very fun. Next is like your Hoda or your Hoda type. This is going to be like a Hoda slash bash. I mean, really what we should do is like throw a whirlwind up in here to kind of represent both of these, like the whirlwind, take that out. Um, but you got like bash or like Hoda. Both of these are pretty similar. Bash is still very good. But again, the builds all suffered a, a huge hit. So there's not too much to say about Barbarian or even show you. So Barbarian down here in the D tier, so happy about it. Um, I hope it stays this way for two more years to come. And there's very little buffs to this, but we know that's not going to happen, guys. Barbarian will probably be back to S tier in Season 7 after we get our Spiritborn fix. So, But right now, Barbarian, they're down and out. So happy to see it. Next. Okay, next. This is a tough one. 
This is a tough one, but I think it has to be Necromancer. We're going to put this down in like C tier. Necromancer, for some reason, just does. I just don't feel the love from Necromancer. It got this huge buff to minions, and it got all these huge, insane buffs, but it's just like there's so many things that are bugged. The builds are just like blah, you know, but it just doesn't seem to be hitting as hard as it did in season four. Now, with that said, you know, you know what? Maybe I'll put it in B tier. Nah, screw that. C tier, guys. You know what we're doing here. We got to be harsh critics about this. Um, so, Necromancer got a bunch of really good buffs. The class is in a very good spot. A lot of move speed. Um, got some really nice quality of life balance changes. So, the top builds right now is definitely probably Bone Spirit is probably the best build for Necromancer. It's hitting for uh, billions of damage, which is great. It just doesn't seem to farm the T8s very, very well. But it is clearing like 140s, which is fantastic. Um, Sork has the highest clear, I think, right now, but uh, it had Bone Spirit has cleared 140s, hits like an absolute truck, and they just the devs just continue to, to buff this, which is crazy. It's got a buff for like the last two and a half seasons, so very, very cool to see like a bone build besides Bone Spirit itself be up there in the mix. Next, and my personal favorite this season is definitely Blood Surge or Blood Nova. This thing hits like crazy. It's crazy for AoE. It's be definitely Necromancer's best AoE clear for T8s in the Infernal Horde. It's very, very good. I'm so happy with all the blood changes going into Season 5 that we actually have a blood like build which just absolutely slaps. I wish it was the same for Bloodlands. It just didn't get a lot of love, man. I think Bloodlands is just harder to play. Blood Surge is better to play. And um, it, the, it looks insane. So uh, next, of course, is we can't leave out minions. Minions are in here. Minions are going to be fantastic. Um, even with the buff, I know everybody kind of shied away from minions because the Holy Bolt Elixir last season got nerfed and the minions couldn't take advantage of it. And now you just don't really see a whole lot of minion stuff this season. I think it's absolutely hilarious that Necromancer fell off the map after that change. So, uh, but with that said, minions still slap. They're still very, very strong. So if you want to be that minion Necromancer main, the build is still very, very good and fun to play. Next. Going into our, God, the, these next three, this is tough. But I think right now, Rogue is A tier. Rogue is A tier. The dev set is very, very balanced. They didn't change a whole lot with Rogue going into the season after the PTR. And boy, does Rogue have some of the funnest builds this season. I mean, besides some of the Sork stuff that I'm going to talk about, Rogue is probably my favorite class that I've played this season so far. And why shouldn't it be? We got the Andes. Um, poison barrage I call it multi-shot build this thing slaps it is by far the best one you're hitting for billions of dot damage it cleared a 147 or a 146 live which was pretty insane so uh, barrage is actually good which is fantastic and it just it literally plays with Tyrael's Might like it's multi-shot from Diablo 3, and I love it. I just I want Adam to change it and really just make it multi-shot instead of Barrage. Because I think Barrage as a skill itself is absolutely dumb. But, uh, yeah, this build hits like an absolute truck. Next, by far, is Heartseeker. This build is back. I'm so happy that this is build is back. We put out build guides for both of these builds. It's crazy. Heartseeker is back. Basic skill. It's probably the best basic, basic skill uh, build in the game, and it's just insane it hits even stronger than it did last season which is crazy and we're not even using victimize which is nuts so basic attack skill really good now the next two builds penetrating shot and rapid fire these ones are pretty close i know rapid fire is very very good with the ring very strong and then penetrating shot people keep talking about how strong this is i haven't really seen it yet and i'm close to putting this together so i'll have to try it but i keep hearing penetrating shot is very good so we're gonna put that there uh rogue is very very good high move speed dodge chance all the best builds are ranged builds which are fantastic i know that twisting blades is solid and i know that flurry um did get some major busts but flurry just fell under the radar man it just does not hit like it does and even when it used to with andarials barrage plays better so i really wish that one of these would come back and just be a very strong build um i'm hoping twisting blades comes back because that build was super fun but until then rogue is a tier now, next, you probably could have guessed that the last two builds are definitely Sorceress at the highest A tier and then Druid, which is going to be slightly behind it. Sorceress received a huge amount of buffs this season and is by far the best class this season. However, it was only for four days. 
It was like four or five days, and then Sork already received a nerf slash buff. It was a kiss curse buff slash nerf. Uh, due to the amount of unstableness, yes, that is a word, that was brought to the server. So, of course, Sork had to receive a nerf, which is just great. I swear that the devs are biased towards Sork and do not want Sork to succeed. And they want to keep Sork down here in the B tier. However, Sork is in the S tier because of Lightning Spear. This is by far the best build of the season with the highest clear at a 153. All of these builds for Rogue and Sork still can clear all of T8, destroy all the Uber bosses in literally half a second for those crazy people out there. Uh, but Lightning Spear came in out of the radar using Fractured Winter Glass and just made the build absolutely insane. Next is Firebolt. Firebolt is a still a very, very good build and very, very strong build. You just need to be careful with it because you don't have the um, infinite, you know, flame shield. So you're not immortal. So, but the fire, like Firebolt still didn't lose any of its potency. So it's still super, super strong. Just a very slow build to play. I think it's just best for pushing. It's not really good at speed clearing whatsoever. I mean, it can be, but it's not as good as the other builds. Next, we got Chain Lightning and Firebolt or fireball both of these builds with the new items to chain lightning very good very good at clearing can do t8 fireball bouncy bouncy mario super strong and these builds still clear they're some of the best clearing builds in the game besides the lightning spear build and it's just really really cool to see some of these um uh elements shine i really wish that we had a very very strong cold build but we really just don't have it frozen orb is there like i did test blizzard a lot but blizzard is just b tier at best so we're not putting that on the list. I really was hoping with the blue rose that this got better, but it really didn't. It's just so far below all the other stuff. You really just play um, lightning spear with the frozen orbs that pop out. And I consider this a lightning build instead of a frozen orb build. But yeah, so sorceress there and then slightly below. I'm talking about slightly below is druid. I know the leveling experience with druid is really bad, but once you get towards the end game, it has some of the strongest builds in the game, starting off with landslide everything this build is goaded it is very very sh just a, a a hair behind lightning spear in far as far as like just overall clear damage etc the build is insane druids are just got a huge buff this season which is fantastic and i think that this build encompassing everything with the lightning landslides all your stuff i think it's a very very cool build to play Next, however, after that, Druid kind of falls off. The next best build is definitely Boulder with the Hurricane stuff going on, but it's still not super good. Um, Landslide is by far the best by a huge margin, and it's not even close. So Boulder is still there if you like that, paired with the Hurricane stuff, which is cool. And then last but not least for Druid is definitely Tornado. Tornado is still up there. It fell down the list a lot in comparison to the other stuff, but Tornado is still a very, very solid build if you're playing. So druid very close behind sorceress uh in the s tiers rogues in the a tier necromancer and barbarian down at the bottom unfortunately guys so this is where we're at going through the rest of the season i don't think too much is going to change in the mid-season um patch update um whenever we get that which will be cool so uh yeah we'll see what happens but um get out there play some good builds don't play uh barbarian or necromancer and go play these builds go play more sorceress so we can get more buffs go play more druid and then love rogue it's fantastic adam if you see this please give me multi-shot instead of barrage but yeah guys this is my tier list i broke it down this is what it is like the video let's get this over 100 likes let me know down in the comments what you guys think and don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace